Hey guys, so this was going to be a much longer flip through than I could do on Instagram in a minute. And because it is for school, I kind of wanted to do it justice. So I have my Start Bay Traveler's Notebook. It's the Navigator, which means that it has four elastics on the inside. Check this baby out, he's beautiful. And Basically, this is my setup so far. Uh, classes start Monday, so I have to kind of get going on this. Um, I have a, it's a transparent pocket folder. So you've got, it goes, I have it around my notebook. And you can actually pull out these little manila things. So what I wanna do is on the front page, this is going to be my dashboard. Um, I might put some of my weekly schedule in here. I might put like homework, assignments that are due, things like that. Um, for now, I just have questions, but that's sort of the goal for this one. On the inside, I'm planning on putting my like basic week university schedule here. Um, our schedule is really strange, so I haven't put it there yet. Um, full disclosure, I'm actually also going to be using my calendar app um, on, on my Mac which will also link to my iPhone because um, in order to keep track and not forget anything, I tend to need to have it both digitally and on paper. So I start digitally and then I transfer everything here. So I will move that in some form over here. I have my color code started. These are actually just little cards that came, oh goodness, that came with each different packaging. So on the other side, it's actually about Start Bay Notebooks and I'm using it sort of as like a journaling card. So I thought that what I would do is actually washi tape it so I can do a flip out card here so I can check out my color code. But I haven't finished it, so I have not put that in yet. I'll get that later. All right, apologies for the shaky filming. Um, I don't have a tripod, sorry. So in order to differentiate my notebooks, I actually did do a washi tape here. I've got different colors of washi tape and then I wrote on it with a silver Sharpie. So this is my planner insert that I already showed you guys. Um, I ended up filling in the index, so I've left room between the months that I can put the different weeks that fell under that month. And then after, I'm actually also going to individually label by weeks and the dates. So I have them kind of in both places. I don't know how much I'll actually use the index like that because it's pretty easy to flip through, but I've got it set up in case. So here's September. Like I said, I have not filled out yet because I'm still playing around with the schedule on my calendar, and once I know and figure out I will do that. But what I've started doing is this blue, it's a Stedler fine liner. This blue is going to represent my masters. Um, so as you can see here, I've got holidays in that like darkish yellow. I've got that darkish light blue, if that makes sense, for my masters, which is the MEF. And I've got that like fuchsia e purple for one of my jobs. And I think I might actually give each school a different color. But I'm trying to Keep the color coding to a minimum because I know me and I will forget. So I'm going to see how it works to just have my master stuff all in this blue color and then do work in different colors and leave it as that. So I've got this so I can immediately open up to my first weekly, which is next week. And what I'm starting with is I have a task list for things to do with my masters. And once I see how things go, I'm planning on adding in class preparation, or other notes, important dates, things like that. Now, this actually might present a problem with my normal bullet journal because I typically do a monthly, weekly, daily setup there, and I'm wondering how redundant this is gonna be, and if I'm super busy, that, that might kind of be an issue. So we'll see, I will keep you guys posted on that. And then I've basically just got blank pages after that. So this will be my entire planner. Hopefully it will serve me for the semester, if not the whole year. After, we have the second half of the transparent thing. I've got, oops, index cards in case. This is the only place I had to put them, so that's where they are for now. And then I want to do my schedule for my job. So I actually work 12 hours at two different schools, so that's gonna be kind of fun to work out. Um, so even if I don't end up doing the schedule on here, it'll probably just be information relating to that. Again, still playing around with the setup. And this will be for any other private students or other work that I do, I can put information on there. My second insert is for my masters. So again, I did washi with silver um, Sharpie. And I automatically set up, did my index, three pages. I don't know if I'll need all three, but I've got them. 
And then I have immediately important information I need. So the heads of the programs, the secretary, the blog website, all of my important dates for the semester because university holidays and secondary school holidays are different, so I need to have both of them. Um, then we move on to this. I have to take an exam at the in February and at the end of the year, so I will use this to take notes, put information on, so I have it all in one place. Then I've done all of my different classes. I actually have nine individual classes, sort of, for semester one. And so I've got the name of the class, the teacher, and if there's a type of evaluation, and then I've left room so that I can write myself notes if I get email addresses or more information that I wanna have on this particular page. Then what I'm thinking is I might try and use this to write notes for classes. We'll see. Um, I might need other bigger notebooks, but at least for the first week, I will try and do that because then I can kind of have everything all together and I can just bring my traveler's notebook for university. That would be lovely, but we'll see. Okay, next I have these, it's like a manila sleeve. So I actually have it on the third elastic. And right now I don't have any pockets or anything. So what I did is I stuck some sticky notes and then I actually just paper clipped these two on here. So far they've been staying, so we'll see. So I have those in case I need them um, for taking notes and stuff for school. Then on my last elastic, I have, this is for the two schools I'm working at. It's the name of the program. Don't ask, that's how I remember it. So similar, I've got my index on three pages. I also pre-number all of my pages. You'll see down at the bottom corners, I've pre-numbered. And then I've got school information, important information, which again is training days and holidays. I'm going to put in teacher contact info because I typically work with multiple teachers in different schools. So I wanna have a page where I have all their emails and phone numbers. So in case something happens, I know where to get them, even though they're also in my email. But hey, I like to keep things in multiple places so I don't lose it. And then I will hopefully have a schedule that will not change too frequently so that I can just put it on here. And you know, it might be for a couple of weeks, but at least have the basics of my schedule on here. And then I tend to do prep work. Now I get to do a lot of fun stuff with the kids, which means that I don't have to necessarily have a really complex lesson plan. A lot of times I get to just like talk about a holiday or play games with them. So. I don't, tend, I don't tend to need a lot of room for prep, but I like to have it sort of all in one place. And my system last year was such that I had a lot of wasted pages because I basically gave three or four pages per class and then just wrote it in there. I think what I'm gonna do this time is do it by week. And start a new week, do, you know, Monday, these are the classes I have, this is the prep I'm doing. Tuesday and on and on and on. So that hopefully I can fit um, this contract is only for six or seven months, so hopefully I can actually fit, if not everything, almost everything in this particular notebook. And then I have all of my prep for the year at a glance. Um, obviously, I'll have different resources and things that I'll need, but my goal is to kind of keep the planning section of my sort of professional and school life all in here. And again, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to mean for my personal bullet journal, just because I will be so busy. I'm not sure if it's gonna end up being too much work doing the redundancy, but um, I think this is gonna be nice, especially since I'm doing this, as you guys can see, it is like super, super minimalist. I mean, I'm not really adding any color outside of color codes. It's all in blacks and grays. Um, I just want it to be super functional because my schedule is going to be insane and I need to be able to find things quickly. So I will keep you guys posted as to how this actually goes. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this. This is actually the first video on my YouTube channel, so we'll see what happens. Bye.